And there's something, you know, like controversial here as Tamalusa is introducing. She says that this dual citizenship thing is biased against some. Um, there is a presidential candidate who's a dual citizen of Tanzania and Kenya. Many sitting politicians also have dual citizenship. Now, I don't know who Esther is talking about. Uh, Afafanue. And, Tell yeah. her Afafanue. Yeah. Ato boy. But, uh, but, 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 but I know for sure. I personally know for sure that, yes, you know, like there are some politicians who are dual citizens, you know, like some people in parliament who are, who are sitting there. So, but that's, that's a case for another day. We're going to deal that uh, with some other time. That's something that we should bring up with... Um, with the with the commissioners and i think you know like it's never the burden of uh it's never the burden of iebc to prove if if there's someone who believes there's someone in parliament who's holding foreign citizenship it's up to them to take that to court you know and provide proof that this person has citizenship of um of another country because at the end of the day you know like uh ibc has no way of telling that this person is uh, a venezuelan or a nicaraguan you know like they have no way of telling yeah because that. what you present is your kenyan what you uh, present is your kenyan you don't credentials. present both she, she says yeah. her hands are tied yeah <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah and yeah. um let, let me just put in, in a little bit on that mm -hmm. we we work with other government agencies mm -hmm. and each government agency has a mandate if it is in an investigative arm of government, we have agencies that work along that line. And if it is proved that um, a document is authentic, then we have uh, Kenya National Qualifications Authority. Mm -hmm. We have also an agency working um, along the lines of anti-corruption and all that. Yeah. So what we are looking at is a multi-agency um, commitment or a committee where all those organizations um, come at a round table to discuss and come up with ways to ensure that all those uh, loopholes are sealed uh, through each agency doing their bit. Uh, because when, when, when the law states that you present your passport or your, your academic documents to IBC, IBC will pass that to the ag relevant agency to ensure that this document that has been presented to IBC is authentic or not. So once it is, it is, um, it's, it, that agency states that it's authentic, then we proceed with it. If somebody is, um, has some knowledge about a false um, input by someone, the police is there, the, the, the ODPP is there, the, the courts. The courts are also there. Yeah. So there's so many avenues that Kenyans can take, can seek redress from. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and it's also interesting to note that uh, there was actually a court ruling that stated that if you're holding foreign citizenship, you can run for whichever office you want. The only thing is that before you assume that office, that's when you'll have to, to give up, before you're sworn in, that's when you'll have to give up that citizenship. So actually you can still run for office, but uh, yeah. But this is one of those things that I think ilingizwa kwa katiba kiujanja ujanja. And I think that that's a clause that uh, needs to be removed, you know, like in future, you know, like uh, in case we have future constitutional amendments. But that's, that's a story for another day.